Thank goodness I'm not in a camp. Whatever would we do if we were in a camp? I don't think you're that scary. As long as people close their tents, eh? Hey? You're not going to injure anybody unless people are silly. But absolutely, Steph and James are correct. Hyenas are not to be taken lightly, or the threat of hyenas is not to be taken lightly if you're camping out in the bush. You should never, ever, ever sleep out in the open. And we all know people with stories of having done that exact thing and found themselves on the receiving end of the powerful jaws of the hyena. I will say, I don't quite know what this North clan is eating, but every time I see them, they are so full and look so contented. And this is one of their favorite spots, and I think you can see why. The attractive pea green of the water, plenty of places to wallow, shade, sun, depending on your preference. But I think it's the, it's the spa-like quality of the water that really makes it. I bet that tastes delicious. Well, yuck. Yes, absolutely, Nikki B. The, the hyena's intelligence does play into making it a, a dangerous animal because they're problem solvers and they learn. And unfortunately, people have really, really contributed to the fact that they've become camp menaces. Not so much, obviously, in our camp, but around places like the Kruger where people feed them their leftover bry meat and their bones and their chops. It is very frustrating to witness because, of course, the hyenas learn. They can learn how to get into certain areas. If food is left out in the open, they can figure out ways of getting to it, even if it's out of their reach. So, yes, their intelligence does play a role because it's also one of the things that powers their curiosity, and they're very, very curious animals. And whilst, as human beings, we would explore something new with our hands, they don't have hands, obviously, so they use their jaws. And that has unfortunate consequences if the thing that they're exploring happens to be somebody's face or limb. So yes, it does factor in very much into the dangers that hyenas pose to those people, the unwary, let's put it that way in camp. But if I were to get out now, this hyena would be hightailing it so quickly it would be a little cloud of dust. And I, I mean, we've seen hyenas run before. They run as if their bottoms are trying to overtake their heads. I don't know whether any of you were watching, I'm sure you were, some of you, were watching the TV show on the Saturday morning or Friday night for some of you. But Prince Hyena that ran into the termite mound had me chuckling for about two hours the, the night before. He sent it straight to me, the video of it running into the termite mound. Oh, you silly things. And even in a camp at night, if you were to rush at a hyena, and it would get up and run away immediately. So it's not like a lion at night that will lose its fear of human beings. A hyena at night is still scared of people. You just don't want to be asleep when it comes calling. The thirst is quenched. I was hoping, actually, that the rest of the hyenas would be around here. Oh! Um, but they are not. They are hidden away. Now, of course, you know that Steph has been working very hard this morning, and he's achieved something that is always very, very exciting when you're on foot. <laughs> 